So uh, what are we making for dinner? So we are making some uh, pork chops, which we kind of did last minute from our last hog, which we butchered a hog today, but these are... These are not today's kill. These are previously frozen <laughs> pork chops from uh, our last hog, Sterling. But, um, well, here's the deal. There's a deal. There's a deal. I can't use the stove right now. Or rather, I shouldn't use the stove in the oven right now. Because it's a gamble. It's a gamble because we like hot showers and we are this close to running out of propane. <laughs> Right. So we are trying to conserve. So we're like, okay, crock pot and barbecue this weekend. So we have a propane truck coming on Monday. Yes. But until then. Until then, we're on conservation mode of right. our propane. Um, not but it gives us a great excuse to barbecue. So right. we're going to barbecue some pork chops. And we're going to go ahead and do our vegetables on the barbecue as well. Let's get started. Shit's got to cut some greens. Cut something. Rain a bobbit time. Point me in the direction of the field. Just kidding. <laughs> So this is the only part of gardening that I know how to do, guys, for the record. I know you guys have been making comments about Mike's other garden and all this. My mom got me these for Christmas, by the way. That's why I'm using them. I have to use them in at least one video or I'm, I will never hear the end of it. And they're pink. I like pink. So. Ooh. Mm, color. It's got bug feces on it. You can rinse it off first. You might die. So what do you got here, Sid? These are uh, radish sprouts that we are going to plate. Because Mike likes to plate stuff. I like throw stuff on a plate and call it good. It always tastes good, but it doesn't always look very pretty. Mike likes to plate stuff. Like he's Gordon freaking Ramsay. So it's got to be like, you know, with the sprouts and the thing and there's pyramid and like the light has to hit it right and I don't I'm like it tastes the same I don't care but anyway he wants these so he can garnish it on top whatever floats his boat I don't care you're gonna grab the radish way down at the ground level mm -hmm. and you're gonna pull up gently I'm not so gonna you get cut all it. that oh so I'm not cutting it you want all that white okay pull, grab all the way at the ground and pull up gently all that nice. white Again? Get the rest of those, yeah. I'll, I'll throw some more seeds in there. Yeah, get them all. Get so them all. aggressive. Get them, get them all. Whee! Oh, look at that. Let him get his hands dirty. That's what we have him. Manual labor. Oh, give it a little haircut. Look at that. It's ready for... It's ready for the Marine Corps now. Look at that. Right there. Military issue. Hot, tight, soldier. <laughs> it was really loud, by the way. A little like, it was jarring. Out front. Out front, there's more radishes. There's more radishes. Oh, look over here. There might be some radishes over here. Are there? Just so right here, what you're doing is you're thinning them. These we're gonna let go to full size. So you tell me which ones you want me to pick. But you're gonna... Like thin that? Yep, where you got two, pull okay. one. Just like that. You're thinning the radishes and making a garnish. Three right there. Three right there. That's pretty good, right? Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. okay, so here we've got some more of our lettuce, some kale, and some chard up here. So something I'm going to do, since I've got the barbecue going anyway, I've got some green garlic here, I've got some thyme, some rosemary, some mint, some basil, some onion chives, and some oregano. All just, just now cut it out of the garden.
then I've got some orange peel. Got some Crouch Ranch bacon here. They're so bad, they're good. Right, right? Right. Bacon! Boom, there it is. So, people are always asking when we do our cooking videos, what I've put on the meat and generally I don't measure things and I just see what I have especially when Mike springs it on me like hey you feel like doing pork chops and I'm like okay so I had some apple juice I had some cloves I had some cinnamon I had um, some garlic and I threw some basil in there and uh, more garlic you can have more garlic a little black pepper a little more garlic um, the apple juice already oh some red wine i know random but i look, like to have a little bit of like red wine that i use for cooking deglazing onions or whatever so we need a little more liquid in there so i threw some of that in there for good measure because why not it makes it tender and i think that was about everything i threw something else in there that was random oh a little dash of cardamom just a little dash of cardamom um and some a cayenne pepper just skosh but I just like to go through and kind of be like, oh, you know, what's going to be good in this? And I don't measure stuff, and I just throw it in. And you better like it, because I'm never going to be able to duplicate it exactly the same again. <laughs> but that's what I put on my meat this time. <laughs> All right, Frankie, let me see your plate. Daddy's gonna make his award-winning three-star, Michelin star uh, plate arrangement now. Fancy. It's wrapped in plastic. I'm pretty sure that wouldn't be good. No. 
Okay. Bam! Shazam! Hey, let me know. Frankie, what does your shirt say? Let me see your plate, Mom. It's empty. <laughs> it's empty. See? It's empty. Fail. Okay, that's <laughs> that's good. A bed of micrograins and a soup salt of pork chop. I bet this might be yummy. <laughs> might be. It's so good. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for coming along with us on that Saturday afternoon dinner adventure. It was a lot of fun, and uh, we're, we're glad to have shared that with you and show you a little bit of, uh, of our recipe, how we put some of this stuff together. Uh, maybe someday we'll make a book. I don't know. No, because I don't measure things. <laughs> well, it'll be an easy book. There'll just be a list of ingredients. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Season to taste, etc., etc. Hey Frankie, where'd you get that shirt? Jennifer, Patrick, and Tony. Jennifer, Patrick, and Tony? Yeah. And uh, what's, what's it say on that shirt? Mean people suck. Mean people do suck. <laughs> Stay away from mean people, they're no good for you. Right? Don't forget, folks. <laughs> Don't forget, folks. Squirrel. <laughs> Smash that like button. Um, like the channel, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Uh, hit the little bell so that uh, you get notifications when we do post a video or go live. Yep. And um, Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and like our Facebook page at The Kraut Ranch. Kraut, but, 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 but. <laughs> at The Kraut Ranch. The Kraut Ranch. The Kraut Ranch. Ranch. And we got to go in and film some little baby chicks that have... Well, they're more than piping. They're about to get out they're of the shell. Mostly yeah. piped. They're like, so. yeah, we, in fact, we may have missed it. We'll we go. gotta go. <laughs> Maybe chickens.